In this video, we're going to look at how we can test our code in AppScript and how we can try to find help if we run into an issue. Uh, and you know, this, this is going to make it a lot easier for us to develop what we need. So it, when we get into testing, it, you know, there are ways to test custom functions. You know, you can sit down and you can use them in your spreadsheet and make sure that they give you what you expect. And you can, you know, you can add in different values and you can kind of just write, write the custom function out, pass in some ranges, pass in what you need, hope that it works, you know, eyeball it, make sure it looks okay and, and move on. But uh, that, that's probably not a great way to, to develop things and it's probably not a great way to test things. You have to change it later. Now you have to do this whole process of manual testing again. So often when programmers are testing their code, they write code to test code. So this makes it a lot easier to validate what you're doing and make sure that it's doing what you hope it will do. And it also really helps if you need to change your code over time. So if you need to make a modification to your, to your uh, custom function, you can always just run your tests again and and see how things go. And this has some other benefits as well, because you know one of the things that you might have run into is you're writing custom functions. You can't really see into what's happening. You can't really log things. You can't really stop and look at what's happening while, while it's running. But if you write a test, you can, you can insert really any log statements that you like into your custom function. So for example, if we created this custom function to count products of a particular type, if we had all of this, uh, this data in our spreadsheet, maybe it's a few dozen rows, maybe it's thousands of rows, and we want to count these products based on some kind of criteria, how can we verify that this is really working as we want? Well, we could just say, well, we're going to you know, use the first row and we're going to try to count that particular criteria and we're going to type that into our spreadsheet. And it's going to take a second for that to run and then we'll see the result and then we'll maybe do that with two or three other things and we'll just do that very manually. But that's not really a wonderful way to go about our lives, especially if we need to modify it or we need to do this for a lot of different functions. Uh, you know, it's going to be kind of complicated. So we can actually write a test function for this. And all we have to do for this is we, we build a, a test function. We create some data, you know, some fake data, some test data, some made up data. Uh, we can run that test function and then check the result. For example, you know, a test function is really just, it's just a normal function. It's just anything here. So you can see uh, if I create this in my script editor, I can use this test count products function and then I can run it using that play button. So now instead of having to enter this into my spreadsheet, I can very easily run this test function that's going to do something interesting. So, you know, for example, I could just create this uh, two dimensional array that is basically just like my spreadsheet. And then I can use this to run my function. I can also check the result pretty easy. So I can call my custom function just like any other function in my script. And then I can actually verify that it's going to give me what I want. So if, uh, you know, if I run this, I'm expecting you to get a result of eight. And if it doesn't give me that, then I can just put a message out to my log and say that that failed. So that makes it very easy to validate. It's doing what I want for this particular case. And then I can run as I can build as many of these tests as I need and I can run them as I need them. Uh, you know, I can also just pull in data from the spreadsheet if I don't want to create this big multidimensional array. I could just create a special uh, tab in my spreadsheet or maybe even a completely separate spreadsheet where I'm writing my code. Uh, and then I can just retrieve that, you know, so here we're, we're just retrieving this data. We're going to go ahead and get the, this, this particular tab, this test data tab. Uh, and then we're going to retrieve the range, you know, from uh, row two, column one, and we're going to get six rows and we're going to get four columns so that we can test this more effectively. And that's going to work just the same way as just creating our own dummy data. Now, you can write cut these tests for custom function. You can also write them for any other code that you have. So if you have some code that's performing something in your, in your uh, script editor, you can write a test function that will test it out. And as your code gets larger, it gets harder to test. You know, if you have a, a function that has lots and lots of parameters or you're expecting lots of things to happen, that can get more difficult, but you can always add or you can always decompose a function into smaller functions. It's very easy to test small functions. A function that does one particular thing makes it very easy to test. So the smaller your, your functions are, the simpler they are, the easier it will be to test them. And if you have a bunch of small functions that do something right, you can probably use those to create a bigger function that's going to also most likely do something something right. Now, testing isn't it. You might also need help. And the first place I always find to, to look is to go to the uh, developer reference for spreadsheets. You know, if you go to this URL, the 
This will give you the, the details on all of the different methods and functions and capabilities of all of the different things that you can do with spreadsheets. And there's a lot here, you know, this, this sequence of modules, it, it only went so far, but there's a lot more that you can do with this. So if you take a look here, you can, you can find all of the other details. You know, if you have questions about how particular functions work or what the parameters are, you can take a look at this. But often what a lot of people end up doing is going to stack overflow. So this is, this is a pretty common place to find answers to technical questions. The great thing about Stack Overflow is that chances are if you've run into a problem, you're not sure how to interpret an error, or you're not sure really what might have gone wrong with your code, uh, you can search Stack Overflow even without signing in, and you can probably find somebody else who's had this same problem. So Stack Overflow is a pretty good place to go. And if you haven't, you know, if you can't find somebody who's had the same problem, you can always sign in with your Google account, just like the account you're using to create your spreadsheets, and you can ask the question, and it's a pretty active community, so people often will come in and answer. And it's an easy way to get around problems. It might not be instantaneous help, but it may help. Now, another place you can look is the there's an app script community on Google Plus that has uh, you know several thousand members. So if you ever have a problem or a question or a suggestion or a hint, you know you can always come to this and you can see there's there's some posts here where people are actually helping out. So this is a good community of people who might have uh, some issue or might be able to help you with some issues or you know maybe you can come in here and even weigh in on somebody's uh, problem. So in our next video, we're going to take a look at how we might create some of these test functions and run them. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching.